In this session, let's learn how to maintain general ledger segment values. Maintenance of segment values primarily consists of adding a new value, disabling an existing value, changing description, etc. Once a segment value is added, it cannot be deleted. It can only be disabled or undated. So let's see how this works. So I'm in 2M Global General Ledger. I go to Setup, Financials, Flex Field, Key, Values. In this form, I choose Value Set because all these segment values are stored in a value set. And I know my value set names, so M2 percent. So these are my M2, P2, account, company, cost center, future, intercompany, lines of business and region. These, these are the segments in my segment structure for our chart of accounts. So let's take the account and I'm going to hit find. It will bring up all the account, all the segment values in the account segment. Let's try to add a new value, new segment value. So I'm going to pick up any field and say plus here. This button plus here, that will give me, create me a line um, to row to add my new value. So I want to add a new asset segment value called plant and machinery. Say 12,100 is the value because you cannot, all these values are unique. You cannot duplicate the same value. You cannot use the same value twice. So you have to be uh, clear that you know you're using the value which is not being used so far. So I'm going to add plant description, plant and machinery. Now the when you first enter a segment value the system automatically enables it. So now I will tap. If you don't want to enable it, you can always come back and disable. So we'll talk about the enable disable later. Tab again. So we can also set from date to to date. For example, if you want to use this value, let's say from 0, 01 January 2013 to 31st December 2013. We can do that. Normally you'll leave this blank if you don't have any intention of disabling the uh, segment value. <clears throat> now then, then there is a another check mark that you can specify this uh, you, you, other check mark that you can use, which is a parent segment. Assuming if this is a parent segment value, we can check it. For example, in this case, if we look at the asset, uh, one zero 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 is a uh, asset parent segment value. So we don't want to designate this plant and machine as a parent, at least not for our working. So then you keep tapping. Then we have segment qualifiers which we need to select. For example, do you want allow budgeting? Yes or no? You can say you can choose that option. You want to post this account. If you don't want any posting to happen to this account, you want just create general entries, you can select no to posting. And this is very important. You have to select the account type. Now you need to tell the system what is the type of this account. Is it an asset? Is it an expense? It's a liability, the owner's account or revenue account. So we need to do this exercise for all the new account values that we add. So this is an asset account. So I'm going to select this as an asset. I have added a value, account segment value for asset. So let's try to do the same thing for uh, liabilities. So let's go to the liability or uh, you can add it in any part of the form. Let's create a plus and I want to add 22,500. Once, once I tab this, the translated value gets created automatically, defaults from this and then I call long term loan. Okay, this is not a parent, I'm enabling it. So I'll go to the qualifiers and I'll take this as liability. So account type is liability. 
So similarly, I want to add uh, an owner's uh, equity account. So that is 3500 and I'm going to call this retained earnings Asia. So once again the qualifier, this is owner's equity. I'm going to select the owner's equity here. So owner's equity. Now I also want to add one for revenue. 41500 sales revenue Asia and here for the account type I want to leave everything else as is I want to choose okay <clears throat> now let's add one more value uh, for expenses so that will that way we are adding one value each to all the five uh, qualifiers asset liabilities revenue expenses and owner security i want to add 51500 salaries and wages here it defaults to expenses and that's what we want so say okay now if I want to use, let's say the existing value again, let's say I want to use 23001 and I tap, this will, the system will tell me it's a unique value, you cannot use this value. The value is already in use in this value set. So please enter unique value to change the description. So I want to, I don't want to add at the same value. I can also make changes to the description for example I want to say revaluation account so basically I changed the revaluation account name now also I can change the description anytime I can delete this and put a totally a new description so that's uh, that's okay but you cannot change these values because those are already uh, frozen and the um, system will not allow you to change any of these values. Maintenance job would be to disable or indeed a segment value. Now, for example, I want to disable the revenue, sales revenue value. I can say, I can uncheck this. I can uncheck the enable and I can put a date saying that from this date is not allowable. and save. So when you go back to query the sales revenue will, will not be available for us to query uh, in the journal. So let's save this and after making all these changes we need to submit a concurrent program. So basically it says submit request to compile. Chart of accounts will be recompiled to update the changes that we have made say okay so it will run your request so it will compile the value let's go back to the journal and see whether the changes that we made has come through let's go to enter journal new journal and I'm going to I want to check whether I can see these values For example, I added a new value for 12,100. I see this 12,100. I added a new value 22,500 long term loan. I added a new value 3,500 Asia. And I also added salaries and wages. So the changes I made are all available. Also, I changed the description for evaluation from revaluation to revaluation account. That's available too. And also, I disabled a value, 41, 
one, two, three. So I indicated this and also disable it. So that's not available either. So I can't see that value here. So that's how you create, make changes to the account segment value.